thanks for joining us. The show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's the Baltimore Orioles taking on the Diablos. First pitch coming your way next. And into the box for Baltimore, the Jordan Westberg. The second baseman, Jordan Westberg. The wind of the pitch. That oh, one not no close. Play. And that's how this game gets started. And a foul ball. Kicks and deals. On the ground to the left. And that's just foul. The wind and the pitch. Fights it off. You'll see another. Kicks and fires. And another ball. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And one out now. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. That keeps the zone. Strike one. You know, it didn't take Mountcastle long to make a splash at the major league level. In 2023, he became the first rookie to lead the Orioles in home runs since Kurt Bleffery in 1965. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And two away now. So two down now, and here is Gunnar Henderson. And that's in for a strike. Not close with that one, and that's ball one. The shortstop takes the ball. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. He feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff and stay with it. Sawinski makes the catch. In. Here's the second baseman, Joseph Ortiz. This guy is an elite level hitter, especially considering contact, just the ability to hit for average. What you really like, though, stays in against those righties, and that's not so easy as a right-handed batter. Kowser calls it in, and there's one away. Now the number two hitter, Roberto Clemente. Back to the mound, he's got it. That takes care of Clemente. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game is the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Ball one, no strikes. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon a bit. Warning track, ball, and you can touch all baseball and in. Gives him the lead in the first. It's one nothing. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Ball pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin buried it out of here. Now it's the shortstop, Tyler Black. First pitch misses. Left-hand hitter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Kowser in position. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. New inning getting started. Stepping in the long ball threat, Adley Rutschman. Pitch nope. misses inside. Ball one. You have to be creative pitching against bad ball hitters. you got to add some velocity, subtract at times. Just avoiding the hard one plate one. isn't always going to be enough. Guys like this can hurt you with pitches you wouldn't expect him to swing nope. at. That's that missed back. inside. And yeah, that's ball two. And a foul ball. Lined, and that's a base hit. 
So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Anthony Santander now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Just missed. Yeah, the righty deals. Ground ball could be two. One and second. Out. On to Freddie. Out. Double play. Colton Kowser digs in now. The 5 4 3 double play is a gem in baseball. And how can you not appreciate the skill and practice it takes to make this look so easy? Great work by the infield. All ones that count. But why to kick the pitch? Off the plate, ball one. The Orioles trailing by a run here at the top of the second. Hey. Right through there for a strike. Okay. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the second. Here's the center fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. Bradley Jr. The pitch. Right down to shoot. That's strike one. Bradley measures five feet ten inches, hitting fifth in today's lineup. A former first round pick back in 2011. Swing and a ground ball to Bill. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Timing on the swing was good. That able to good. shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't it. square it up as much oh, as he probably would have liked, but yeah. that's a good approach paying off. Hit hard. That gets through. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Two consecutive that base hits for these guys the here. Simple played Pepper with the middle of the infield and oh, took girl. it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Now at the plate, Jake oh, Berger. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Timeout asked for and give it at the plate now. The 1 0. This to center field. Hayes has it sized up. Nabs it. Runner tags it second. And he's in safely at third with one out. Now we'll see if moving up to third there pays off here. for him. He didn't have no to left tag left. and go, but now he can score a lot of different ways. Ooh, Doesn't have to be a base hit. We'll see what happens. That one lifted to left. Sizing this one up. Squeezes it. Runner tagging from third. He'll score the sack fly, and they take a two-run lead. And now, Christopher Morrell. Hand up as he asks for time at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Up the middle, Henderson. They take the force out. out, and that ends. Back here in Queens, top half of the third inning. Here's the third baseman, Ramon Urias. The pitch. And that's off the inside edge. 1 and 0. Oh. Swings and lines a base head into left field. So a man on base to start the inning. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and lipped it into the outfield Ryan. for the base hit. Oh, Those always feel great. Ryan O'Hearn comes up to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Urias gets his lead at first with nobody out. That catches the zone for a strike and a count one and one. This one in the dirt, and an excellent job keeping it right there. Here comes a pitch. 
screen. Struck him out looking. And now it's Austin Hayes. That misses the zone. Ball one. And another ball. And there's a foul ball. And the right hander deals. Fouls one off. Two and two. And he deals. Wouldn't okay. chase that time. Man at first, one away. Back to the mound. It hit him. And they got get him. the out after the ricochet. Jordan Westberg, the next to hit for the Orioles. He was a strikeout victim his first time. That one misses. And that is ball one. A swing and a miss. And that's strike one. One ball, one strike. This to third. To first, save. And runners at the corners after the infield single. So digging in, Ryan Mountcastle. On the ground, Black. Throw is high and over his head. And this ball's going to wind up out of play. So a big time costly mistake there. Henderson in the box now, takes Ball strike one. one. The Orioles down by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Hacks and misses. It's a strike. As we go to the last of the third, stepping in, Joseph Ortiz. The pitch. And a base hit into right. Didn't take long to get a result for that at the bat. That pretty much split the, the zone field. down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now the right fielder, Roberto Clemente. And takes low for ball one. There's so much Clemente can do at the plate and in the field. Breaking ball inside. Ball two. About the only thing Clemente didn't have was elite speed. But the other four tools were as strong as anyone's in the game. Ortiz aboard here at first with nobody out. And no. that one is inside. Roberto's number one tool had to be his rocket arm. The bat's not far behind, though. Tremendous opposite field power. Look out! Yep, I got and it hit him. Oh, well, he didn't miss by much right there, but it was just enough to flip him on the, the way in. Baseman, here comes Freddie Freeman up to Freddie. hit. He's already homered here Freeman. in this one. side nice stop from his backside oh. throws to Henderson to first not in time great effort there the batter number seven shortstop Tyler. stepping in the slugging shortstop Tyler Black fly to left his first time fly ball down the line Kowser makes the grab. Two down. Jackie Bradley Jr. a chance to hit. Jackie Bradley Jr. Line drive. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Start of the fourth. Here's Adley Rutschman. The catcher, number 35. As he turns on the rubber with that good live arm delivers. Ball one. Ball one low. And another ball. There's a strike. Two and one now. 
And a swing and a miss there. Still two and two after the foul ball. Right into the play. Ground ball left side. And it goes just foul. The 2 2. Gets a piece and stays alive. Right hander kicks deals. That misses. And that's ball three. Righty delivers. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Anthony Santander at the plate. He's over one. Anthony Santander. Hey. He takes a strike. The Orioles trailing by a run. Top half of inning number four. Next offering is foul back. And right back to the mound. Tosses the first. Two up, two down. Colton Kowser getting ready to hit. Went down on strikes his first time through. And that one clips the corner. Two outs, base is empty. That one off the mark. And a count even one and one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Two down, nobody on. And yeah, that is, skips yeah. into there. Well, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, too, too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at-bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Hey. Got him looking. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Ready to go. Bottom four. And now here is Connor Wong. Radish back to work. Line drive, base hit. Waste no time there. Nice job going the opposite now, way with it. Let the ball base. travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate and he approached it perfectly. Puts it away for the out. Applies the tag, and they get two. Double play. Now here is Jack Sawinski. Drove in a run with a sack fly his first time up. In the air, left field. Kowser has this one sized up. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now, Ramon Urias. And the right hater back to work. That misses, and that's ball one. Urias, 29 years old, and he's a native of Mexico. Strike one. I got a ball, one strike. And another ball. Clearly didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. Three. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here's the designated hitter for the Orioles, Ryan O'Hearn. Caught looking his first time up. Strike one. 0 oh, 1. Now a pop up on the infield. Settles underneath it. And there's two away. And now the center fielder, Austin Hayes. Now batting. The center fielder, Austin 
Swing and a miss. Strike one. Oh, one's the count. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. The DH, Christopher Morrell. Morrell. And the pitch. Hit hard on the ground is short. One up, one down. Now it's the second baseman, Joseph Ortiz. One for two. Love it here at City Field. You know, it replaced Old Shea Stadium back in 2009, and Chipper Jones was really sad to see it go. It's actually the third home of the Mets since they started out at the Polo Grounds for two seasons before Shea was finished. Fires over to first. And a couple of quick outs. Clemente at the plate with two away. Swings through that one. In one the ball, dirt, one and the count is one and one. Two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. This one in the air. Moving under it. And that will end the inning. Set for the top of the sixth. Here's the second baseman, Jordan Westberg. And fouled off. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. The 0-2. And that's in the dirt. And down on strikes he goes. And one ball. Ryan Mountcastle, the next to hit for the Orioles. Ryan Mountcastle. Fouled off. He was late. Now oh, one and one. Great. Base is empty, one away. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Right side. Clemente snags it on the run. Gunnar Henderson, the now next to hit for the Orioles. Yeah, have to say, he's one of the most impressive young players I've seen in recent years. Well, no question about it. His future it's is right, very boy. bright. The city, the organization, both are excited about him. He has a lot to look forward to. When you think about it, he may be in the league for the next 10 or 15 years. Swings and misses. One, One and ball. two. Two strikes. Just nope, that's missed. It's a good take. Two balls, two strikes. Two down, nobody on. Sweeps through that one. It's a strikeout. Bottom of the six. And now it's going to be Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman. Radish back to work. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Couldn't get in the air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. 110 miles per hour. And man, that exit velocity. Not every hitter is capable of getting that kind of jump off the bat, no matter how hard they swing. Next to hit, Jackie Bradley Jr. 
check swing did he go yes he did lifted in the air right center field Hayes ranging after it and he makes the catch runner tags it second tag out at third and that's a double play and here's the catcher Connor Wong this is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate good game caller good at framing but it's that big arm that really stands out it gets down a base hit and that'll put runners at the corners with two away the back the third so they're at the corners now down the third baseman Jake Berger a little up front there as he swings through it on one At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. Time called. Chance to collect himself down 0 2. Two on, two outs. Good job to fight that one off. And the pitch stays alive. And there's a ball. Well, the good thing so far oh, no, is that he fun. hasn't yep. issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind it. And a pitch. Three. Got it. Huge strike out there. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top of inning number seven. Here's the catcher, Adley Rutschman. Rutschman. That's inside. Ball one. And a good eye there. That's down and in. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger. Now here's Tyler Rogers out of the pen. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. No outs. Runner at first. And next for the Orioles, Anthony Santander. And that one fouled off. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your bet burger. There's one. Back to first. And that is a double play. So up next, Colton Kowser. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Slider misses outside. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. Holding on to a one-run lead here at the top hey. half of inning number seven. Swing and a miss. And the count's even at two. That one ran inside, almost got him. Looking to get the tying run on base. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And a 3-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Jacob Webb. Pretty tight game, so we're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And that one fouled off. And now he'll ask for time and step out of the box. That one way inside. There's a swing and a drop. That's back there. Got it. 
extension on the follow through to drive it out of here that one is absolutely belted that's back there Goal! big dogs gotta eat a solo shot it's 4-1 so digging in joseph ortiz one for three that nope. one outside okay. and it's one to know The wind of the pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Nobody on, nobody out. Here at the bottom of the seven. And one and two. Oh, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. And down on strikes. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Now on the ball, Keegan Aiken. He's into the game with the bases empty. Roberto Clemente, the next to hit. Now time call. With the plate. That gets down for a hit. The first baseman. Man at first with one Freddy. gone. Freddie Freeman. Freeman. Now at the plate. He's already homered in this game. First pitch ball. misses. Now it's one and oh. And now the lefty. That's out to center field. Hayes has it sized up. Hauls it in for the out. And there are two outs. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot no hang a breaking seven. ball right there. Short Lucky stop. it stayed in the ballpark. In the air to left center, Kowser on the move to the alley. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that is that. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the third baseman, the third Ramon baseman. Urias. Ramon Urias. The pitch. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Zips it to Got first. Lead-off man is out here in the eighth. Now that at the play, Ryan O'Hearn. A couple of pitches and a quick out. And first offering is fouled off. Rogers, a 6-3 righty. He features a sinker, a slider, and he works in a four-seamer. And that's off that's inside. the inside edge. And the count one and two. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Throws him with a backdoor slider. Two outs, base is empty. And the batter down, Austin Hayes. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. And there's the strike. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. Westberg, the batter down as he swings and misses for strike one. That pitch gets the inside corner. Hole and two. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. That one missed. The other way, Ortiz whips it to oh. first. 
And that's the third out. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Brian Baker. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. And the batter now, Jackie Bradley Jr. The center field, Jackie Bradley Jr. And here it comes. Bounced up the middle. Oh, wow. nice play. Throws from his knees. And that's a great play for the out. Well, he looks so comfortable making that play. Dives, comes up with it, and then from one knee, like he's just playing catch with his kid. Nice throw across the diamond at first. Connor Wong will hit next. Three for three with three singles. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Oh and one. Time asked for it to play, and he gets it. One out, base is empty. Up the middle. Gets it to first. Two up, two down. Now the third baseman, Jake Berger. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Just missed. Two down, nobody on. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs. Comes up empty. That's strike two. It might be time to choke back a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Back here in Queens. And here's the first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. Rogers back to work. And a foul ball. Just oh, missed. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. And he grounds one back up the middle. Finds its way through base hit. He was all over that one. Fastball down and in. Good spot to get a ground ball, but that one had eyes. Now, they turn things over to the southpaw, Dylan Lee. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. And a pitch. That misses the zone, and it's two and one. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully, the pitcher can get a ball on the ground, and they can roll him up for two. Swing and a miss. Two and two. Just off the inside edge. And ball four to a board. They're not ready to go home quite yet. Adley Rutschman, the next to hit for the Orioles. And the slider catches the zone. Now snap throw to first. And he's back safely. Out to short. Black. Slings to second. And that's two. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there. And his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. Santander, the next to hit, takes ball one. On the ground to third, and this should do it. In comes the runner from third. It's 4-2. And no throw for some reason as he reaches first. That's got to be an error. So two down. Now the left fielder, Colton oh. Kowser. That misses the zone. Oh. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, number 54. 
Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Fights that one away. Still one and two. One strike away. Got him, and that's the ball game. Well, a save. He was just starting to get comfortable out there after throwing a lot of pitches in the bullpen in this one. But a nice job of attacking the hitter, being very efficient. And this is what you want to do. You want to come in and you want to close things out as quickly as possible. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.